is up, guys? Welcome to Non Fungible Guys. This is a Web3 podcast about cryptocurrency, NFTs, uh, blockchain, DeFi, and everything in between. I'm one of your co. I'm one of your hosts. Darn it! I was doing so well. I'm you were. I was like, I was gonna say it was a Kevon good one. C. Codrington, aka Interstellar, joined by my custy. Cut! You did it again. Grumpy custy <laughs> old man. Oh my gosh! I am so sorry. I was trying not to butcher you this time, and it didn't work out. That's I okay. I blame it on seasonal al- allergies. It's really they're driving me nuts. I'm also on Benadryl, and I'm probably gonna fall asleep halfway in the into the episode. So awesome. There's that. Anyway. We're gonna we're gonna take that as a challenge, and we're gonna we'll keep you. We're gonna pump you up. Exactly. You <laughs> this is the best <laughs> intro we have ever done. <laughs> Ryan, you're gonna get introduced last. Uh, that, what you just heard was who you just heard was Trevor and Alyssa from CNFT News. Um, Trevor and Alyssa, what is up? We like to also welcome uh, Ryan. Ryan, hey, Pop. hey guys, thanks for having me. Welcome, yeah. Ryan. Thank you. I'm I'm, I'm really be excited to be on. Wow, I think <laughs> so. That is probably the the, the wildest intro. That's ever. the best one. Best one. Woo. Okay. Yeah, one take. That's all it took. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Shocker. I know. <laughs> What's so, going on, guys? How are you doing? <laughs> we are doing great. Just hanging out here at the house with the baby and ready for to, to hang out with y'all for the first time. Awesome. First time, first time, almost like I, I feel like it's a uh, second time. First time for Trevor, second yeah. time for Alyssa. We briefly met Alyssa yeah. at uh OE booth in CNFT Con. Oh, briefly, yeah. everything was getting packed up, and you just uh, uh, is it an insult to say waddle over? Oh, oh no, my that, gosh, that's right? just what the hell? accurate description. Right. See, that's why that's it's true. all such a blur for me. It was yeah. it, it was it was a very overwhelming experience to be pregnant at CNFTCon right. because that shit was already overwhelming. Yep, definitely. Yeah. Well, I can't like, wait to meet y'all again with more gusto this year. <laughs> yeah. No, it was we're good. hoping it was to make it down. Person. Are we going down, Devon? I don't know yet. Have we have we discussed it? Um, we're going. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> just making the decision. We, like haven't, that. we haven't fully decided yet, but we hadn't decided whether we were going to say we weren't decided because uh, we were just figuring it out. Last 50/50. year, we, last year we decided to buy our tickets. To we the- bought our tickets early, but our flights were like the week of. <laughs> that was not good. We did not save money that way. No. Uh, yeah. But either way, good to meet. I Captain. think you'll end up there. That's my. Yeah, that's exactly. my prophecy. I do. Uh, you know what? I was going to save this to like the end, but since we're just talking about Break it, it did, out. You, did you guys see, I guess it, the CNFT cons doing a rebrand? Yes. I'm into it. I'm into it. Yeah. They dropped the seed of on. I don't know if you saw on Twitter. I did hear about that and I, I'm okay with it. We had our debate. Wait, although I don't remember where we landed on our debate about like whether we are for the sea or against the sea. We're always for the sea, but we're okay with, no exactly C yeah that's so that's where it. i'm at i'm for the c but i also see <laughs> that we need to have just nft to bring more people around yes. here yes and like La- we got to take action because we are doing a lot with the nft scene we have a capacity to really bring people because it's awesome so exactly and yeah. vegas that just sounds even cooler than nft nyc it's true almost Maybe. What do they say? NFT LV. Boom. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So that really, it just rolls off the yeah. tongue. Mm-hmm. But speaking of the whole, like that, that bring NFT, bring people to the space. Like Cardano is like super rich, man. Like there's so many people that are creating amazing, good stuff. And like, I don't know. What do you guys think about like how things have gone lately? I, I, th- I didn't even plan to go this direction. We had the actual <laughs> I know. Idea. We were going to be like, maybe we should probably introduce you, but screw it. We're here. <laughs> what have you guys seen from, because you guys have been doing CNFT news for like a year and eight, t- 10 months, almost two years now or whatever. Yeah, so um, so you guys have been there longer than us. What have, what have you guys seen? Like, how do you feel about the space? I mean, I'm honestly, <laughs> I am blown away by how much we have retained our original character. Yeah. I, I remember having this almost um, anxiety uh, in the beginning of the space because everything was so great. And I was like, 
oh man, I just, I hope this wonderful thing doesn't get ruined. Like so many other things that start out good. Like, it seems like we're doing everything we need to do to keep it that way. But um, I just almost had this like mild anxiety around it. And I, you know, I mean, you know, Twitter's Twitter and things happen, but I, I really don't find myself surrounded by very much negativity at all still. And I still think that, um, I don't know, just the the ideals are in, intact and, and that makes me really happy years later for that to still be where it's at with more people. Yeah, nothing nothing has really changed fundamentally, mm-hmm. except things have only gotten better, really. The fundamentals have only improved as, as the chain has been developed. Back in the day, there weren't smart contracts. We got to remember, <laughs> oh, that was not even two years ago. We didn't even have NFTs almost. <laughs> and we, have to, we had to learn how to, you know, at first everyone kind of agreed with, every, with each other all the time because it wasn't that big. And we have to learn how to have disagreements in this family and get through it and deal with it. And, you know, we're just having some of that sometimes now, but it's healthy. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> it's okay to disagree with people. <laughs> mm-hmm. You would hate it if it was the other way. Right. Yeah, it's true. Growing sure. and we've definitely grown and like gotten way more. Yeah, smart contracts. Just, but I, I still, yeah, Cardano all the way. I know a lot of people are talking about Polygon, and of course, you know, everyone like most people are ETH maxis, and there's ordinals on 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 Bitcoin now, but. Um, yeah, there's there's so much going on. Like there's world mobile, there's like things that are happening on the infrastructure level level. Anyways, yeah, I derailed us. See, you guys no, are I'm... non-fungible guys, so you guys are up on all the hot hit news. We just we 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 need to drop the sea a little bit so we can see NFT news and learn more because we have definitely been in our CNFT bubble. That's okay though. You need the the professionals in that space, which I would I would say you guys are. I mean, we kind of dabble. It's even hard for us because we're on so we try and dabble in so many different chains, but it's like impossible. It's just sticking to oh, Cardano yeah. is hard. Yeah. So yeah. But it has been since the beginning. You got a major in there one chain. Few, there's we're still hmm. finding projects that we've never even heard of on cardano that have like ten thousand followers and we're just yeah. like what how do we not know about this totally. it's i remember me and devon had that discussion a couple of times where it's like we're talking about cardano all the time and it's like all these projects just come out of nowhere i'm like how like board ape cardano club had been around since like april or something of last oh, yeah. year and i was like what? how did we never no. even hear about them yeah if you look them up their Twitter is for unless they change names and their yeah, Twitter is an older account, but oh, they've been true. around. That's a good point. Yeah. They've been around tweeting since like I think it was like April of last no, year. No, you're or right. Because we looked but, it up and we saw that it, it, I don't think it was a name change too, because it was consistent with the brand. I was like, how? how? Yeah, Strange. I never knew. So you just never know, right? But, but we yeah. we try and stay up to date with certain things, but it is hard. We we this is why we do kind of stuff like this where. It's exactly. easy to interview, you know, different chains and projects from different chains just to kind of get a sense of everything going on. But it's it's difficult. This is why we haven't minded doing the news for yeah. no money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because we want to be able to stay up to date on what's right. going on I mean, and keep meeting people. Be and, not nearly as up to date. I mean, yeah. oh my God. It's such a it's such a good way to stay connected that that's honestly not too different from why we started and we like we will say it again i'm i'm i have no problem saying this over and over again our goal was eight episodes and <laughs> we did it so that we would because we were like whoa nfts cardano etc cetera, etc cetera. and we're like let's just do this so that we like stay on top of things yeah let's and, just have fun and learn as we go and yeah, record it and let people enjoy the journey with us mm-hmm. episode 87 so 87 yeah. <laughs> right. you added that seven yep <laughs> you love how long it took me to get that i was like oh oh okay cool all right maybe we should we should start let's start the podcast okay so <laughs> LFG, baby Whack me. <laughs> who are you guys why why are you on the podcast what's cnft news how did you get started in crypto any one of those questions or all of them or all absolutely of them. well we've got the answer here uh so we started my name's off. Alyssa. i'm trevor that's right so those are the first easy those are kind of softball questions Boom. to be honest nailed it. One word answer. 
words. Um, all right. So yeah, we've been around uh, Cardano since uh, early 2021, right before the Mary Hard Fork. Back when you had to it. walk 15 miles in the snow to get a transaction. <laughs> She's referring to using Gatolix. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, we, you know, we, we started off making NFTs because we were just really into this NFT thing. So we were on, yeah, exactly. So we got on Ethereum, but we loved Cardano, but you couldn't make NFTs on Cardano. We didn't quite understand why, because we, we, we were not, it. we were just coming into the NFT space, you know, our mind was blown that a cryptocurrency was paying homage to amazing people from history with Shelly, Lord Byron, Ada Lovelace. It just seemed so unlike the stereotypical crypto stuff that we had encountered in the past. And then seeing the um, IOHK website with like cascading disruption and mm -hmm. um, just those, and obviously Charles, um, it, it was just very, it, it, it seemed like the right thing. Yeah, because yeah, we're, we're trying to- We we're, wanted to be active in this. We want to be a part of something that that is kind of aligned with us, right? Mm -hmm. We're we like a Lovelace, we like Lord Byron, we like saying about Voltaire, and 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 we've seen all this cool artwork that they had on the IOG website, and we got excited, and so we made the Cardano Mythos collection on Ethereum. <laughs> we minted uh, a really cool Ada Lovelace, just the first um, the first piece of it, but we minted a bunch of them on Ethereum as well as a few other one of ones. And uh, we sold a couple of Adas, yeah. just two, I think. Yeah. But then we were like, why are we wasting our time in Ethereum? We gave it a good go, but we couldn't get any traction, right? And then we heard Cardano was opening the doors. For and, NFTs. And so we, and we so jumped we on. So we camped outside. That's right, night. exactly. And we burned. Uh, we did a, a streamed, a whole day of streaming called Burn Day. And we burned all of our NFTs on Ethereum, all the unsold NFTs. Whoa! Yeah, to make Tyler with Stasis for, for the first exactly. time. Exactly, he was Andrew on there. Andrew from Nitties. And, uh huh. Andrew from Nitties interviewed us. And we didn't even know time. that we were gonna like. It's crazy. it's crazy, just not knowing that we were gonna be like best friends with people, or just yeah. how 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 well it was all gonna fit. You know, just like. How, yeah. So well, anyway, so we started uh, interviewing people on stream, and we also started our Cardano Mythos collection on Cardano. Mm. which makes a lot of sense when yeah a little bit it makes <laughs> sense yeah <laughs> so we should have renamed it, it to we, ethereum <laughs> know, exactly, <laughs> right? <laughs> so we uh, we mentioned them we we did very well you know we we sold it was an early collection we were really happy with it and we also got picked up by marco on buffy bot and joined forces with uh tyler and then we started doing the news that's and awesome. uh, we've been doing we lived happily ever after for a long time yeah <laughs> after we met with well mr fomo that's exactly when, that's when the full team was assembled yeah so we've been streaming every thursday or more for almost two years now but i mean if you count the interviews we did before which i kind of do they were like pre-news it's it's been a year of stream or two years of streaming basically that's awesome that's a and long time yeah i can't believe it i'm I can't believe it. And now, yeah. um, you know, we we just had this baby uh, yeah. in November of last year, and we sort of put our newest our new project on hold. Our new project is Facility Seven. We found yeah. out a month after all the assets, art assets, were done last year that I was pregnant, mm. and so we held off and put decided the for to a whole year. Yeah, on that project. Wow. But now that uh, our boy is here and we're we're coexisting as a family successfully, yeah. Yeah. we're rolling. We're we're back on the the horse. Well, that's a, we that's awesome. Up for the agency, yeah. the agent baby. Uh huh. That's his <laughs> agent handle. So that's from that's backstory, I guess. Yeah. That's where we come that's from. Great. Yeah, that's, that's pretty awesome. cool. So was that first stream burn day? Was that technically the first stream CNFT news? Like was that like it just came from that? I mean, tech. I mean, we, we, yes. We were actually going to do a watch party of. Yeah. Um, we were actually going to do a watch party of that again sometime soon. Oh, yeah, so uh -huh. But like, um, we'll we had seen water. we had seen Tyler. Um, at that point, Tyler didn't have his own show or anything either. Yet we saw him on Marco's show talking about collabits, the big collab Cardano bits project that yeah. was the artists. And all um together way early days. And we were like, oh, we like that guy's style. He was 
very, we were very impressed by the whole setup and it was a really early event and it was the first mm -hmm. big collaboration community, yeah, yeah come together kind of thing in cardano or in cnfts so we got him and, and of course i had helped out um andrew of nitties with some animations we did some discord emoji animations and some like launch animations and stuff for nitties because we were psyched about nitties and uh that was my first sale that i took part in that's right yeah, yeah you meant it we said we were we were both sitting there waiting for it to go and then we really quickly tried to mint <laughs> it was it was it was so fun mm -hmm. so oh those fun. days of just sending off a transaction and praying you uh -huh. made it in time uh -huh. yeah well, luckily, really you know, did. Adam Dean was there uh, and, and he was the first Buffy bot mint was mm. Nitties, really. Yeah. And, and and so actually we didn't have to just sit there and send off transactions into the, the blackness. There was yes. an interface and it was really nice. Individual addresses like. Oh, wow. Even back it was, then. Huh? It was a great. It was incredible. It was like top tier. Adam Dean's got it going on. That's it always awesome. blew my mind when, like when you talk to more and more people and you see the ways they've been like allowing people to mint and whatnot i'm always just like holy crap like how did we not know about this but then also there were people thinking so far ahead of how to get there you know like just trying mm -hmm. to push the chain and i i really I think that's really like where, where the innovation oh, i think of like dead pixels and mm -hmm. yeah. alessandra was minting space buds 10 days after the mary hardcore <laughs> went live and if he's even existed, I mean, he's crazy. always been on the forefront hmm. there. I guess, oh, did man. you have you guys tried it out the old money mint experience? This new one, well, it was a little on the pricey side for us. Yes, I would, yeah. I would love to try it out. Uh, maybe I think if, if you want to, yo, know, if you want to just experience it and see what it is, I think yeah. Freedom 35ers, uh two episodes ago they're two youtube videos ago they they have a live it's it's oh, tagged hey. and, and chaptered yeah. or whatever however they but you can go and watch them mint one live and it's it's a pretty wild experience i love the like that they're pushing the boundary like you said we everyone you we need people pushing the boundaries and they yeah. make the experience it's like a whole five minute could be a 10 minute minting experience if you yeah. want it. See, that's what we need. Cut scenes. Yeah. I want my minting experience like a damn video game. A hundred percent. They have like videos playing in Spanish. You can press different buttons. Sounds are going Ooh. on. You're doing all this. Yeah. Definitely check out um, Freedom 35 or YouTube. We love cause... them. That That's a great tip. We will definitely watch it. Yeah. They're awesome. But uh, yeah, I don't know. Like it's just, uh, I love when watch watching teams you know push everything forward mm -hmm. so yeah. yeah well we're trying to do something with like that uh in with facility seven where it's a board game and it's one that we've been working on for many many years off and on as kind of a side project and we're bringing it to it's a main project now <laughs> this is this is happening well the thing about it is is like we have been working on this off and on for so long but now that we're in this web three community with all of these people uh -oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> here we go <laughs> well i think she's saying that we we have this impetus we have this uh people who are jumping on and excited about it and we are now being more and more energized by that excitement Ooh. which brings in more people I don't yeah. know. and there's a capacity for storytelling and lore right. and immersive uh, you know experience with it that th 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 there wasn't really the possibility of that before and now we can do uh, cool stuff like code breaking on discord and oh, yeah, you know that. introducing lore through videos and we, we like our projects to be experiential so we have obviously it's a game so yeah that's an experience but outside of the actual gameplay the cnft project side you know we've got codes hidden all throughout our nfts and and there are oh, that's cool. uh, all of the lore videos and stuff that we're creating. You know, we're not like minting these things, but we're putting a lot of work into them just to make some awesome vibes. Because you got to have the right vibes for these projects, man. One hundred percent. I like the having experience. What's um, the? Oh, sorry. No, I was yeah. just say like Space Honor Society was doing oh, all yeah. those missions and stuff, and yeah. you had to break codes and unlock rooms and. I mean, unfortunately, it seems like they're uh, they're going through some. I wouldn't say rug pull, but they're going mm. through some managerial managerial changes. So <laughs> I'm hoping, hopefully, they get it right back on track. But yeah. you guys are doing something different, so you got to check them out too, right? Yeah, I know. So, right? Do you guys have a physical board game? Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, exactly. So we can uh, we can bring in the colonel and the directors here to. Yeah, they demand that, you know, when we really get into any sort of branding, um, it's it's very important that the actual, yeah. you know, government affiliated mm-hmm. um, workers come in here. So yeah, good. Yeah, perfect. yeah, let's start at the beginning there, because I know there's a lot to it. I want to get the holistic picture for the for the listeners. I, I like the integration integration here. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Welcome, agents. Yeah, I am the colonel representing the agency, of course. And I am the directress. And we're here uh, to to greet you. And we're very thrilled that you've joined us on our whirlwind media tour. Charmed, I'm sure. Yes, we're gathering support and resources for our fight against the evil genius, Professor Norwood. As you're surely aware, we are the valiant heroes from the Department of Evil Genius Oversight, or EGO. And our mission is to keep you all safe from Norwood's diabolical plans to strip you of your very life and liberty, aided by his army of clones. However, we cannot do it alone. So, welcome to Facility 7. The tabletop light game of exploration and espionage with a battle royale twist. It'll keep you laughing, even as your meticulously planned attack is countered by another player and you end up in prison. You will play with two to six players as you become iconic spies and action heroes on a mission to infiltrate the evil genius Norwood's lair and save the world. Each... Each thing, sorry, that's usually my part. We, we like to fight each other for the top <laughs> billing. Each game is unique as the facility is built out of cards, room by room, offering over one million possible layouts. Find and equip powerful gadgets, stock up on action cards, and keep your covert cards secret in plain sight. So basically, you create an entire board out of cards. So it's like a board game built from cards. It is a board game. <laughs> inspired by spy genre parodies such as Austin Powers, Archer, and the Venture Brothers, Facility 7 is a light-hearted party game with the perfect balance of strategy and luck. Approachable, friendly, and easy to learn and teach to non-gamers. That's right. And uh, I guess the most important last thing we want to say is that it's, it's kind of a tabletop light experience. Uh, it merges the intrigue of a spy adventure with the engaging element of a tabletop RPG but you don't need a game master for it. It's like a different tale being told every time. Gadgets, fights, it's amazing. Yes. And of course, it's Web3 integration. So you'll earn actual fungible data tokens as you escape with victory point data tokens in the game. So we've crossed the boundaries and, <laughs> and brought the, the, each game into the real world in, in some small way. Yeah, actually, we have um, s- s- this game. Trevor, Trevor yeah, we'll, designed we'll send it. Them away. Yeah, they, yeah. They did. Thank you, Colonel. Yeah. Uh, anytime. Thank you, thank you, guys. Time, uh, we need to job well done. That yeah. was awesome. Because so I was on. I'm on the site looking at oh, yeah. the like looping video while listening to you guys, <laughs> and I'm like, this is amazing. Like this is better than that <laughs> video. Like that was great. Uh, I would love to play with you guys. Yeah, I have a feeling you, you guys would be, would be really. Oh my god, we should do it. Would y'all want to come on? Um, well, we'll talk about it later. I want y'all to come on one of the live streams of us playing. Yeah, we'd love to do a stream. Ryan, right. Ryan literally uh, is the best at that. I, I will come on too, but Ryan, no, he he can't. He's done <laughs> done so what? You you played like proto like. Um, you've been part of testing games before. Yes, I have <laughs> tested games. This yes. one's out there, but like, yeah. Anyways, okay. Oh, yeah. I was saying, so cool. Archer, Venture Bros. I literally yeah. didn't think of Archer when seeing everything. Yeah. Good. I mean, that's what, that's what makes sense. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad I'm to cool. hear that. That's cool. <laughs> Yeah, so we're yeah we're we we're, like to be irreverent. We're bringing exactly. <laughs> so we're bringing this to Kickstarter uh, later. Uh, first, we're doing yes. this NFT mint and experience. There's going to be 35. Ag- well, we have 35 agents. I'm not sure if they're all going to be in the drop, but uh, we're going to have it, uh, up to 35 agents. Uh, we'll have uh, traits and all that. So kind of the standard PFP experience. But the traits are way. the traits are tailored to each agent. They're exactly. not across the board. It's not like they Goldenrod Bowman, aka Sterling Archer, is going to get um, the same traits as someone else. It's like because each character is hand drawn in a totally unique pose. They're not. 
it would yeah, be they, they're not to transferable assets in the normal PSC. Plus, we wanted anyway. to like okay, a lot of this game is about pop culture. Professor Norwood, the evil genius, is obsessed with pop culture. We have all of these uh, sort of riffs on existing action heroes, right. and um, so it's important to us in the traits to sort of like reference a lot of those yeah. uh, shows or, or whatever yeah. they're from in, in some way. Yeah. So it's all going to be very exactly. individualized in that yeah. way. But I mean, that's so, just part of what we're doing. We've got yeah. so much more. Go on. No, that's cool. I saw one reference, I think, um, Carmen San Diego. a little bit of that yeah. in there. Too. Well done. Yeah, yes. I like that. I saw that. I was like, that would be my character. Well, a different, <laughs> different name, Carmen Montenegro, I think. Something. Carmel something. Montenegro. Now Carmel, I literally yeah. sing the song as where um, the <laughs> Carmel, Carmel Montenegro. Montenegro. <laughs> she has a much smaller hat on this. Yeah, um, her hat's small. She has a small hat but instead of a big hat. That's addressed <laughs> in her character card. She's doing that so that she'll, yeah. you know, make people feel too she emasculated like, or whatever, you know, yeah. a big hat. Yeah. She doesn't need to prove anything. <laughs> exactly. She's already about it. She's, she's, yeah. she's got it going on. <laughs> Cool. This is cool. awesome. I love yeah. the artwork. Okay, so um, I'm still. You guys did a great job of this. Obviously, I mean, not you, the, the colonel. And oh uh, yeah, well. <laughs> hey, they make us do a lot of work yeah, we, for us. They're generally technically illiterate, so we do yeah. all the. You know, we have to <laughs> make the, the website. Spaces. We have to do the Twitter spaces. Yeah, they do, all they know the how to do is throw down commands. Yeah, they know really. how to yell. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, this website's beautiful. Yeah. All oh, Trevor. Thank you. Thank I'm you. going through it now, and I'm like, "Wow, this is uh, this is absolutely beautiful!" Like, it's just who does the the artwork? Who does the hand drawn artwork? Yeah, yeah. So uh, we have an artist. Her name is Melissa. She's not in the NFT space. She's just but she's a awesome. real world she's artist in our Discord. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But uh, so we're trying to lure her in. I think if we manage to uh, make uh, make a big splash with this project, we'll be able to get her in because she loves working with us. So if yeah. we if we had the funds. Uh, we could bring right now in. we got it on credit cards. <laughs> <laughs> we are we're reaching, but I think it's going to all work out. So, so the gameplay, uh, the cards from the board that we've seen, you're kind of moving through with your players and pop culture, all these different references. Can you explain again the tie in with you were saying you're not necessarily minting, but you're giving away NFT base? What, what is, how, how's the connection to the Web3 work? Is yeah, so. Uh, Currently, it's it's all manual and very rudimentary. Um, but in the future, we have you know big plans for building a, a specific app to play Facility Seven and get some exciting you know okay. different content unlocked. But whatever, we're not there yet. Currently, it's a long we're way. playing every week on Tabletopia, which is a browser app, which is like if you've ever heard of Tabletop Simulator, it's yes. that. Like but that, it's, but um, in a browser, it's, free, it's to browser, play. free to play, and oh, quick, it's right. and wonderful. Yeah. We just want to connect wallets and have it be a yeah, really exactly. cool. So <laughs> I love that. So the story is, uh, there in the game there are victory points, and yeah. those are called their data tokens, and that's always been the case since the game's inception ten years ago. You want to leave with the most data tokens. Exactly, the winner. The winner has the most data tokens, and we thought, well, let's mint them, right? So we minted mm-hmm. them, and if you see them, uh, they're like cardboard, three D model of like cardboard tokens. They're kind of warped. Uh, just like they are in the game, they were made by Tyler Spaces, and uh, there are ten thousand of them. I don't know if we're going to need a mint more. I guess we could, but we're not selling any of them. There's no like tokenomics here. Mm, we're right. just giving them away for community participation. Whether that's playing the game, which is the best way to get data tokens. That's the best way to get a lot at once. You can walk out with people have gotten out with seven in one game, which is huge. Normally, uh. You know, it, it takes a lot more to get them. Anyways, uh, you can. You can also win them at marble races. If you play seventh at Cardania marble races, you mm. can win them from our movie night, which we have every week. We do trivia. Yeah. We have trivia. Ooh. And we, we face off. We This week we had crypto heaps. We have a different guest every week and um, a guest handler type person. Uh-huh. And we face off on Twitter, two of our agents and people vote with gifts who they think would win in that SmackDown and whoever wins the SmackDown, that's whose piece of media we consume that week. Whether it's a movie or TV show or whatever, because they're all, all of our agents are direct parodies of uh, existing people. Yeah. 
Uh, I guess I kind of wandered way off of the question. All right, data oh, tokens, <laughs> Web3 okay, integration. I, like it, it no, was, I, I was going to ask, okay. with the data tokens, yeah. could you actually, if you had, say, a collab with a project, could you change the artwork to, like, say, it's, hey, we played this game night with that, with the collab token? Oh, that's interesting. Uh, it, the policy is locked. So oh, okay. I think I think we're just we're just sitting on those. Just pay back <laughs> for the expansion pack. Yeah, I was gonna say exactly. leave it. Yeah. We may yeah. maybe yeah. we'll admit some new shit in the future. Oh, yeah. uh, Actually, but, I said the project name wrong. We're not eight and ninjas anymore. Oh, oh yes. I get to. That's, that's right. And I was I gonna, gonna ask: to Have you guys ever talked to the boys at uh, Cardopoly? I have not. No. Because just because they've they've built everything from scratch for their game, and I'm wondering down the road if there could be some kind of I don't know uh, if you guys were needed help building or anything. Yeah, they're doing I mean, every Drexler does everything in house. Yeah, because if they've got something already built, then maybe that framework could be flexible enough to move over. Yeah, just a food for thought. No, that we are actively looking for a, a dev to help us realize these web and figure out dreams. what things are going to take, etc. Oh, exactly. man. Okay, he, then definitely God. reach out to Drexler yeah. at Cardopoly. He is like a, a maniac over there. So he would be, I would highly recommend. That's a great tip. Thank you. No problem. Yeah. Uh, okay, well, I get to finish up. Great to go around and talk to that. people. Yeah, 100%. exactly. Yeah. Well, to finish out the yeah. data token yeah. thing, uh, you earn these tokens by doing all these things and uh, you can spend them on mm. our website at the Office of Advancement. That's all they're good for right now. Well, the data must flow. They also contain some, there are codes, plural, within the data token, but that's a whole different thing. Uh, oh. You can spend these on NFTs that you can only get through data token purchases. Right now we have our clearance level badges, which uh, just clearance level one. You get yeah. a badge. It's uh, there's 140 unique ones. I think we sold half of them so far, uh, and so they that have a different agent and rank them. Yeah, yeah, they're they're all unique, and that gives you uh, some whitelist benefits and uh, some other stuff coming up. And we also we're working on our next clearance level drop, which is going to be even more exciting. You'll need to have the first one to get the second one, and it's going to cost five data tokens. Currently, the first drop cost two data tokens so you'll move up the ranks exactly to but you've got to get data to do it and it's not easy unless you're engaged in the community right. so it's pretty cool but it's... you can also get it from minting and we do have a mint yes. that is currently going on which is our propaganda posters this is like our very low supply just like kind of trying to serve as a early supporter you know mm -hmm. this is like our announcement that we are out there now you know we're here and there's 214 of them there are eight different varieties there's rarity and they're honestly really cool looking we spent a long time well, uh, sure. and Melissa you choose your them. side yes right so pick your side More wood or agency <laughs> nice i love it oh yeah and is one evil are they both evil that's for you to decide yeah. if you mint both you're a double agent and you'll get a free agent mint when um when it comes time yeah uh, when it comes time that is not now and it's either not way in a month, you'll get data either way you'll get data for minting um, that's right so once one side sells out uh we'll be airdropping data to all the holders of those posters on that side the first side to sell out gets two data per poster and the second side to sell out just gets one uh, so we'll see right now they're pretty neck and neck though it's crazy i i i assumed people would pick one or the other, but it's really, it's weirdly split. Everyone wants to be the double double agent. Although I'm pretty sure Norwood's better. Or sorry, no, wait, no, no. What's the one that's the picnic? Like which side is the picnic? That's Norwood. Yeah. That's Norwood. Yeah, that's He's that. trying to lure you in with some food. Yeah, yeah that's the one. I mean, if you look at me, you know I could be lured in with some food. So. <laughs> Wine and cheese? Oh, well, yes. I no, that, the Norwood poster has got a lot going on. Like, especially at the bottom, the redacted text that like, yeah, that's cool. That's there's stuff going this on. This is I actually, yeah, these are it's awesome. trying to tell a bit of a story there. We've got yeah. dude, it's because we've been working on this for so long, we have so many inside jokes, so much lore uh from this project. So it's like it's it, it, when when we're making something, there's so much that we can put in because we've thought about it for so long, you know. So it's definitely got some there's some hints about what's going on in those posters. Uh, it looks like Ryan with a goatee. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn right. Well, they could grow a nice one. We're Sorry. gonna have we're gonna have Trevor dress up as a uh, as Norwood, get a black turtleneck on, get in front of the green screen, do some maniacal laughter. You know, Wait, Trevor is, is always wearing a wig. What? Because so he's actually bald. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Uh huh. Nothing wrong with being bald. The There's nothing wrong Only with on that. Only on the news. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Nothing. <laughs> Says the guy that's like. Look, the all news, the the, yeah, Scott Chestnut does not wear a wig. It's offensive that you would even say that. Um, no, uh, we actually, when the news started, we were like, this is the perfect chance for us to wear wigs because this is how people will know that we're not that we don't that we don't have respect for the news as it is and we want to be a nicer version of the news but we have to uh you got to be blonde to be on the news right and we weren't blonde so i guess you got to throw a wig on i love it <laughs> i love the news music you guys have it's so long i love it <laughs> it's so long i was like oh, oh no. no i love it it's so it's very newsy very newsy we were thinking about doing a new one sometime. Yeah. Same music. Oh, yeah. I guess we're looking at the music. That's good. That's good. I'm That's loving good. all this art. I'm just going, I'm, I'm mesmerized by it. Like, you got the awesome powers, you got Michonne, you got Blade, Inspector yeah. Gat. Like, good there's job. So, Look at you popping them out. Yeah. There's so oh. many, like Mission Impossible, Men in Black. I love it. This Do you awesome. feel like you get a good hint from seeing the font with it? Yes. Yeah, good. Yeah, this is great. <laughs> people need to uh, more people. Everyone needs to get in here, check this stuff out. Oh, oh, well, thank you. And you know, if you want to, we see, agree. If you want to <laughs> see even more cool stuff, head over to our Discord and check out our Dev Journal. That's kind of where we do. Oh the yeah, all the secrets. All yeah, I post in there almost every day. I think. <laughs> uh, yeah, I. I'm embarrassed. I'm not even in there. I'm getting in there right now. We've got some really awesome people in our Discord. Yeah. Um, this is like it's the first time we've really had something going we've so good in our Discord. Culture. Yeah, yeah. We finally got a call. <laughs> we've got a lot of awesome emojis. We've got a lot of really awesome people in there. It's and, so small right now. We only yeah. got like 130 people in there right yeah. now. But uh, you know, we're the ball is just getting quality. Going. We we have yeah, we've started a couple of months ago. Our push on Mardi Gras Day with Let's the see. North oh the hench friend recruitment picnic in twitter space twitter yeah space yeah basically insane. that's what those posters got made for norwood was having a hench friend recruitment picnic and mardi gras twitter space where he was asking people dating game style questions like if we were going on some sort of mission what outfit would you pack me what <laughs> yeah how would you break into the agency etc cetera, etc cetera. um and the agency actually hacked into that twitter space and they were there as well and they decided to make some propaganda posters to combat his propaganda posters because you know <laughs> they need each other it's a it's, it's a like cycle the they need they need yeah. each other they love it they love yeah. it this is awesome <laughs> so i guess oh, there's so much going so much happening i i mean what's what, what's the original i guess supply of the nft like the the amount Oh, of the propaganda posters. Yeah, was it? Yeah, yeah. do we? I was looking at it just two. One hundred seven each. One hundred seven right? for each side. That's yeah. right. And yeah. one hundred six of them are randomly mintable. If you want to buy, if you want to get the rarest ones, oh, the yeah. two one of ones in on the policy, uh, one of one design. Those are in you, the office of advance. You have to buy them with data. It's twenty one data tokens for the yeah. Mardi Gras. Very few people have enough data to make that purchase at this point. Uh, Actually, just in the past two weeks, we had three people cross that threshold. So I wonder if they're oh, gonna, who's going to pick it up first. I wonder what's going to happen. I know. I can't believe that. I think they're trying to save for the next clearance badge, but they need to get in there and get that one. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And it's actually crazy. You're, the data token, like, how is that not a, a bigger thing? You know? because <clears throat> we didn't sell it and we have no plans to there's no money involved yeah exactly know? one thing we've realized with this is like since every since pretty much everything we're doing is done it's like in, in some ways people don't want things that are done people want to be able to uh speculate about yeah. about well, i think if we get a dev 
and we get somebody who's passionate about this in the same way that we oh, true, uh, true. We start moving towards that app. The Web3, web three, yeah, that'll so We have so many plans. Huge. You know, we've, we're kind of designing the app pre-dev, right. obviously, so, so we can be ready for it. Oh my God. We're definitely we so inspired this? by old money too. Like we, we, uh, oh uh, God. Uh, I mean, yeah. hugely. We did this whole document drop, which was a big inspiration from old money. Mm-hmm. Actually, th- you might want to check this out. Check out, I don't know if you're there, but JPEG store, if you just search for facilities 07, there's a, a whole policy of documents. Obviously, none of them are on sale because in order to even mint these, you had to a find a, a secret web page. Okay. And uh, that, that oh, was all that. Year. Yeah, yeah, I totally see. But these documents are uh, definitely old money inspired, I would say, just from the aesthetic of like the grunge mm-hmm. and, and everything. Uh, and just seeing what they were doing and, and their newspapers and everything. And we just love an immersive thing. We've exactly. always done that since before CNFT. So when we saw old money, it was like, hell yeah. yeah. Experiences. That's mm-hmm. what we're doing too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I was going to say your, your, your guys' background was, has always been kind of entertainment, right? You guys were doing, I think I was reading somewhere you did, you did um, like murder mystery shows and all kind of stuff yeah, like that, well, right? Like exactly. We, we, we had started... an escape room slash murder uh, mystery. We started a, a company <laughs> in New Orleans. <laughs> Uh, spectral city uh, and that's where the mannequin from happened. the news is from man the yeah. mannequin stella ah, she was a, amazing a, <laughs> she was a prostitute yes. in storyville <laughs> the red light district of historic new orleans stella. and her name was stella and that and we actually got that from an original prostitute blue book directory we got yes, an so o- official og a real actual <laughs> living prostitute from that I think that, with that, all the respect that, that comes with that i mean what Devin? i was like i think that constitutes as the nfg alpha for this episode there's always yeah, some crazy is. alpha we get i think that's it we need some sort of a bell ding, ding. no <laughs> doubt and you all can meet her at cnftcon every right. year biggest stella yeah. actually yeah. there is a there is a stella that live a, a a clone of stella that lives at uh nicleas's house that's right Yass- next year to appear at uh, cnft con again yeah so awesome. yeah so we're we're in it we're in it to create experiences for people whether it's walking tours whether it's murder mysteries mm. or whether it's a labyrinth built in an online art gallery exhibit space that we did uh in 2021 i mean we're doing all sorts of experiential pushes with this project and, and there's, uh, there's no and lack we, of entertainment that's for sure so exactly. for people say oh we're bored in this space on this. <laughs> go, right? sorry, go ahead <laughs> would you say right i was saying for anyone that says they're getting bored of the space they just haven't come across uh facility 07 yet right exactly. yeah, it's not looking you right. haven't gone in the dark alleys where the spies hang out and you haven't gotten you know yeah the classified files that tell you where the cool shit is yet well if you want to earn some data you can earn two data without playing anything without randomly doing anything you can earn it by solving a puzzle on our website anybody can do this uh, you have to follow the data and <laughs> then solve the puzzle. Just go to the and website and follow the data and see yeah. what happens. <laughs> and that's my tip. You'll get two data and that's enough to admit yourself a clearance badge at the store. Yeah. Ah, uh, okay. I'm going to. Ryan, we'll do it right now. I'm looking now. I'm looking. Yeah. I'm like, okay, let's right, follow the data. The way I'll do it later. We'll yeah, yeah, it's 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 I got a job to do. If you find it, it's still going to be a little bit before you're uh, on the other side. It'll be easy, but it'll be easier <laughs> yeah, exactly. to do. You just want to have your attention. But we've yeah, exactly. already we've minted nine hidden code words in our NFTs so far, out of a total of twenty-four that will be minted. It's twenty-four. And uh, if you get all the code words, twenty-four. 24 random words. Random words sounds something like something will happen. Well, yeah. for you. <laughs> something will happen. But that's a that's a long term project. We got people yeah. on our Discord who are who have pages of notes trying to hunt down all these code words. I love <laughs> this, man. Hey, I just have thought of everything. Yeah, I did not know it went this deep at all. But we want to add. We want it to be optional. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like totally optional. Because sometimes, honestly, honestly, I feel a bit overwhelmed when I'm like, oh, there's all this in a project. Like, uh, we right. want it to be as you can come in and feel just as big a part, no matter how much you're participating. Yeah, that's awesome. As long as you come in and throw some a GIF in the Discord every once in a while. 
<laughs> Ryan's looking at me. He's like, that's Devon's style. And I, that's a big 100%. Deal. Hey, guys, right. good morning. GM and then just bounces. <laughs> Not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> not that bad but a little bit of that <laughs> but um but that matters though and that's being talked about in way more nft projects than than before people are recognizing i think because of the crazy pandemic being like not over but like i don't know i, I don't i don't know what to say i'm like it's over it's not over people get i know well no one over. does i'm like it's no over <laughs> it's not, it's not. i don't know the pandemic happened and we're here now that's we're not as we're not as paralyzed not by as, it. Let's yeah, put it that way. So people went outside, and you know, and they're not. The engagement's changed a bit, so there's right. a lot, there's a lot more time to like recognize that real life happens, and that's really really cool. That's I love that about the project. That's cool. Good stuff. Good. <laughs> yeah and that like long term we need to all be able yeah i like that that's being talked about too like that if we all want to be able to be here together we need to be able to take breaks yeah because it, it honestly was pretty stressful in those early days not wanting to miss anything like yeah. we, we left for a week and we were like it was it what was a the, lot yeah. the burnout right. was real i remember every i don't know two two months i I'd say to Devon, I'm like, I'm done, buddy. I'm like, I don't want to do anything with Discord or because back oh, then too uh-huh. it was all the grinding too. You had to level up. Oh Discord yeah, the get... grinding times. Oh man, grinding. That... I, I guess. <laughs> how do you guys find a, a good balance being, I guess, new parents and everything oh, you've got going dude. on? Well, thank God. Yeah, yeah. Like, like we disappeared for a big part of my pregnancy and took a, a break after CNFT Con. We still and get the um, news every week. Dang Never right. Missed, didn't we? <laughs> That's we did miss amazing. One. We missed one. That's right. But, uh, you know, it's it. How do exactly. we find a balance? I mean, well, the, the, the good thing is we both, we are very hashtag blessed to work from home. Yeah. Hopefully mm. that we can maintain that. But right now we both work from home. And so it's really, uh, you know, that that's, that's how we can get things done. Yeah. That's good. I, I mean, for me, it's like, we're recording later at night for myself, just because like, I have three kids, I've got a 17, a six and a half and a two and a half. So I've got all sorts of different Damn, spectrums. You look to good. Do. I wouldn't have thought you had a 17 year old. Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you. <laughs> I, so, uh, I have a motorcycle. Yeah, that's Devon's baby. Good for having a motorcycle. I bet you look good on that motorcycle. Yeah, he looks good. Yeah. He looks good. He's good. handsome. Do a hair flip. <laughs> <laughs> I don't you know. Have, you, you have one long hair and one bald person on the news. Oh my God. I mean, on your show, too. That's what we have. Tyler yeah. does the hair flips. Trevor has. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. I, I'm not going to steal your style. I, I don't need any wigs, so. <laughs> I'll, I'll stay bald. Your thing. You're gonna, we're gonna put one on you at CNFT Con uh, sometime. We like to bring extra wigs to s- slap on people's heads sometimes. <laughs> you guys had a, a fun booth, if I remember correctly. Yeah, we popped by, great. and I, I, I don't think you guys were around, but we had popped by to grab a couple buttons and chat oh. with. Uh, oh, good, Pin Pin. Yeah, we're busy as hell at CNFT Con. We ran a couple panels. We did the costume yeah. contest, and we were pregnant. So we had to take a lot of and I brought the, the worst shoes. Oh my god, I will be so much more thoughtful about my shoes next time. <laughs> but we now, also did 30 interviews there as well. Uh, on the spot, it was fun. Whoa. Now, Alyssa, you're you're overexposed community manager as well, too, right? Right now, I'm kind of stepped, I've kind of stepped back to be just like I just plan Twitter spaces and just kind of team member capacity right now, yeah. but I have. With the baby, there is yeah. We have to focus on facility seven because they need to be able to have everything. Exactly. Like they need someone who's <laughs> got the time. <laughs> We're not there. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I mean. I was gonna say. I'm like, I, that's what I mean. Like your new baby, you got facility seven, you got the news. Oh, you got, yeah, I was that's... like, how do you keep up with everything? I'm like, <laughs> no, that's too much. That it was, was it no doubt. So are, now, are you guys full time Web three? Are you kind of like you said, you work from home? So are you? You're not full time web three, are you? I personally uh, am working from home doing uh, uh, editing commercials and nice. for TV. Nice. And oh, uh, Alyssa the is the full time. Well, it's 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 much web three as the baby will. Yeah, allow. exactly. Full time <laughs> mom part exactly. to mid time I mean, web with three. Eyes on full time web three. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Definitely. 
That's I would love to. I would love to. But we that's the goal to, eventually. Well, the goal is to get Never Engine Games uh, as the publishing company. Yeah, we because have other we've games. got other games. Three, yeah, three games finished right now, just from years of kind of hobby game development. Uh, obviously, they need more playtesting. Facility Seven has had seven hundred and fifty hours just on Tabletopia yeah, alone. I was just I just yeah. saw that too. That's a lot. Yeah. And that's just table. That we've done a lot in person so. as well and cons. And, yeah. yeah. So, anyways, we're trying to make this into a, a serious uh, Web three gaming uh, board gaming endeavor, hmm. and that that comes with physical board games as well. It's not just you know virtual, but we want to do both because I think it's important to have both. And honestly, Facility Seven is designed for in person, uh, you know, interactions. There's a lot of social aspects to it. <laughs> we hope to have a drunk game of it at exactly. at CNFT Con some year. Oh, that'd be that'd be fun. Mm-hmm. I'm, the Never Engine. I like. I was actually wanted to ask you guys about that. Like, I know that's like the guest, the creator of the the company for like um, you know the game. But like, what else? Because like, there's like a lot of stuff. You know what? Like, you you know what? That is, that is well said. Stuff. That is. That is so well said because honestly, we, <laughs> since the beginning, we, there's so many things we want to do that never engine, you know, we, we created so many different kinds of things and we, we've always this whole time wanted to have one thing that we wanted to focus on. And so that's, what's been so amazing about facility seven is like, it allows us to, because of the genre it is, and because it includes so many different things it allows us to do our style, which is do a whole bunch of different interesting right. stuff in under one. Yeah, exactly. With, with, with the direction. Of Previously mind, yeah. our big project was spectral city, the actual real life company with customers and everything. <laughs> It's okay. still running down yeah. in New Orleans. If you ever want a, a walking tour or a murder mystery experience, Spectral City. Get yeah, it. you guys before. Okay, dope. Oh, this is cool. It's like a whole. It's all. It's like a whole game interactive, entertainment f- collective of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> like pop culture. I even. It's like so much of the different tropes. I'm trying to even like put it. It's like pop culture. It's like nerd culture. It's like horror culture. It's like I don't even know. <laughs> Put it. Yeah. I'm trying to make sense of it. This is so bad. We like, are too, Devin. I can't talk about it properly because I'm like, it's a bit, but, and I just keep <laughs> with my hand. Like and like, yeah, you got it. <laughs> yeah, but the the what the thing that you just need to know if you yeah. only want to know one thing about this project is that it's a board game. It's playable online. It will be available in person after our Kickstarter, and which will happen come, after the agent sale. And you can come NFTs. play. Any Anytime. week you want. The rule book is online, available. Uh, it's a little out of date because we're obviously still play testing and finalizing some things, but it's pretty much there. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> and there you oh, oh, it's your baby. That was a r- wise thing to say. Exactly. Um, but yeah, so you could even go play by yourself online on Dabletopia online, right now. Just search and- Facility 7, play it with people. We have people that have done that and just play themselves. Uh, we've also created a how to play video that we're just finishing up. Um, yes, in progress. Some uh, titles on. And, but there are other how to play videos out there. When we uh, 2019 was also a big year for this. And then uh, we kind of shifted into whole new mode when covid hit <laughs> so we had to change our direction in life for a little bit to make it through but uh we we were out there and we sent the game we sent prototypes out to a bunch of uh, game reviewers and stuff and then they did videos about it and it was it was, it was awesome man and we're, we're back at it we're gonna we're gonna bring because it home this time. in 2019 we had no community whatsoever we went to Kickstarter um, with Facility 7. We didn't have agent art at the time either. We just had the iconography, like 60 style uh, type art, no drawn characters though. And we went to Kickstarter. Little did we know though that Kickstarter, you know, in the early days of Kickstarter, you could be like a scrappy, uh, you know, awesome game with no community and, and get funded pretty easily. But as the years have gone on, big games launch on Kickstarter as well. You really got to have, a community with you to yeah, some extent totally. yeah, before yeah. going. And so halfway through the Kickstarter, we were halfway funded and we were like, okay, so we either 
there's a possibility we don't make it across the finish line. And that would be a bummer because then you can't run it again. Um, yeah. Or we just, you know, get just enough when we'd really honestly like to get a little bit more because this important. is our it's not a just enough sort of because we've been working on it so long. And it's like it's it's our best. It's the best game, you know, that 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 we've ever worked on. And so we really want to give it the best chance out there in the right. world. It's our baby. <laughs> and uh, so we decided to cancel it halfway through and mm-hmm. come back with agent artwork and. Yeah. Come back. That's and here cool. we are four years later and we're back. That makes right. sense why you love Cardano too. Cause it's, it's built on community. Yeah. Oh God. Yeah. Day, absolutely. Right? absolutely. And that's why we're, that's why we're here at all. Yeah. Because we, for years, you know, when we were doing this other stuff, we were like, man, the one thing missing from our lives is other people that are cool and ambitious. It's like we either knew, amb- you know, people that were trying to do things <laughs> or we knew cool people and we didn't have yeah. the Venn diagram, didn't meet in the middle that much. And then we just nerds it's literally, us too. yeah, nerds of us, yeah. And, <laughs> then, and now it's raining it's nerds. Different. It's raining. <laughs> all of these amazing people. They're everywhere. So that's why we're here. We're staying. You reach out your hand and there's one. No, no need to leave. You got everything you need. Uh, Most people are really important to know and be friends with. I mean, it's such an amazing place. No. Yeah, it's like the perfect catalyst for this to, to for, for this to work. And the, yeah, good see what you did there. Pulling from <laughs> uh, pulling from Kickstarter because um, like it's different. Yeah. Like and doesn't Kickstarter like hold if you don't like hit a certain threshold then like they'll like wipe the whole thing away or something yeah you have to find exactly. it you yeah. have to hit yeah. your goal for yeah. that nothing yeah which yeah it makes sense yeah, totally. be able to yeah. deliver it's like why we have some of the rug projects that we have because they didn't quite get the funding they didn't they get did. quite what they needed and then they but they didn't but, fund anyone either yeah exactly <laughs> right yeah hmm. those all aren't right. good for the community at all no <laughs> No. So you can see some benefits there from Kickstarter saying Indiegogo is the other big one, and that does not have any uh, restrictions. So any funds that are pledged to make it to you, yeah. so that's a different approach. Ah. But not as big for board games. So mm-hmm. we're, we're mm-hmm. sticking with what we know, which mm-hmm. is Kickstarter. Nice. Cool. Um, okay. Derailing this. Ryan knows where I'm going. So uh, what kind of commercials do you edit, <laughs> Trevor? Oh, God. I make attorney commercials. Better call Saul. Injury attorneys, generally. And uh, it's, you know, the they're taking money from You or someone you know have mesothelioma? Not quite that bad. <laughs> <laughs> have you been in a car accident? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So we do a lot of really wacky shit. It's not like yeah, your yeah. standard stuff. We got like genies coming out of bottles and I really get to do a lot yeah, of you, crazy you, visual You got to stuff. have that amazing like uh, robot <laughs> Yeah. Shelby. This oh, man. Is curious. Yeah, so we do a lot of goofy shit. Uh and it's all all the money comes from insurance companies, which I'm very okay with. Mm. Uh you know, yep. draining draining that uh supply. Yeah. So please keep good. up the good work. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we I've never been to New Orleans. Ryan, have you? Did I say it right? Do you, yes, do I say it? Did I say it right? But you said it so good. I'm really impressed by that. You know, you didn't try to put on airs and say it some freaky no, way and said it <laughs> right. <laughs> Look, only everybody's got one uncle or something that actually yeah. says it that way, but it's literally only that one uncle. <laughs> that's hilarious. And then you um, can say New Orleans if you're trying to rhyme in a song, but that's the only time you can say New Orleans. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say it again because I, yeah. I what I said. Um, you said New what, Orleans. What's the best restaurant in New Orleans to go to? Where's your favorite restaurant? Interesting. Well, just so you know, we actually have moved um, in the past. Literally, uh, I found out I was pregnant a, mu- a week after we moved. Oh, so we wow. moved last year to Michigan. But um, as far as amazing New Orleans restaurants, God, it's kind of out of my brain a little bit right now but yeah i mean yeah you can't go you the the, the big the, the two of the best like fancy restaurants are commander's palace and antoine's and commander's palace is actually inexpensive if you go for lunch and they have like bottomless drink i mean like you you get endless drinks and all kinds of good stuff um if i was just going to like have a chill meal i would say you got to go to parkway tavern they have the most bomb ass po' boys 
Mm. Um, of every kind on the most like delicious, light, airy Leidenheimer's French bread. And oh my God, there's always a line, but it's like not that crazy and so good in Mid City, which is where we lived. Instantly hungry. Yeah. I know, me too. God, uh, dude, I miss French bread so bad. It is the best bread for sandwiches. And you just straight up cannot get that shiz up here. I was going to say, what, <laughs> what's Michigan got? I mean, I we're, you're close to us now. I mean, we're in Toronto. That's true. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I can't wait to go to Canada. Like, I can't believe how close I am to Canada now. It's It kind of blows my mind. Okay. But yeah, I got, I, I'm not happy. I'm not happy about the food here. <laughs> or the um, weather, for sure. So I'm I'm happy about the weather. New Orleans was too much. It was just always the same. It was always hot. It was always the same. Like I prefer having an amazing golden summer, you know, here in Michigan and, and having it be kind of rough other parts of the year. <laughs> Winter builds character. Crappy really weather does. builds character. It does. It does. Yeah, it does. You know, what, something, I mean, you really can tell a, a lot about um, just just like people that have to grow up with the, the winter. I think you have to have a, a sense of awareness. You have to be um, more in touch with yourself physically yeah. in certain ways. You gotta uh, wear a jacket. <laughs> like, you, gotta, you might die. <laughs> like, you yeah, might you, die. So You, you might die. Like, actually, that comes into it. That's well, well, I'll extend the invite anytime you guys are in Toronto. We'll do a we'll play date to the the Toronto Zoo or something. Oh, that sounds great! Yeah, we we. I wonder. I got. I'm gonna have to find out how far it is because I'm trying to find out where we are, what we're close to in Canada. Yeah. Well, you got probably Devon. What do you got? Probably for? gonna be like Sault Ste. Marie or Windsor, or it better be Windsor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But um. Yeah, we're, we're we're down, and then if not, we'll see. We'll see the you know, con, or sorry, NFT con, or whatever. NFT LV. NFT LV. <laughs> Look, we're gonna get Ada Ninjas, and we're gonna get NFT LV eventually. We're gonna get the yeah, new name. Yeah. yeah. Who else? Someone else is rebranding. Oh fuck! I don't even know how I've never brought this up. Uh, Crypto Boutique switched to Nexus Labs. I forgot oh, to tell you, Devon. Right. Yeah. I didn't even know this. I'm like, what? Okay. Yeah, they're they it's rebranded. Like it was coming, but I didn't know what it was going to be named. Nexus Labs. Huh. Yeah. And then is isn't a- Angel Babies doing a rebrand? Yeah. 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 Cherubim? Cherubim? Cher- Cher- yeah, I, I'm not even gonna butcher it, but yeah. Cherubim, <laughs> yeah. Which is Angel. An- yeah, it. they're just getting yeah, they're just changing yeah. the, the angel name yeah, so there's better angel branding. Babies. Web two can actually uh, instead of Angel Baby Hit Squad. Yeah, yeah. It was yeah, a, that's a little out there, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh man! So uh, we just completed a diaper change on nice. your show. I don't know if that's ever happened. That's, no, that's place. the first diaper I change. One of the internet <laughs> achievement that was available. <laughs> we are expecting an NFC. <laughs> See, there's always first alpha drops and first on this this podcast. Yeah, that's that's um, right. Now you know Stella's backstory. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That was hilarious. <laughs> um, seen some shit. Favorite prostitute. <laughs> uh, I think yeah, there, uh, I'm out of questions, Devon. You got? Yeah, I know. I think I, I think I got that. I think with restaurants, that's that's that. Any other CTAs from you guys? Uh, I, I would. I got a CTA for you two that I would like to call you to action of being our guest, uh, some guest hosts on our one of our movie nights yeah, because oh, y'all yeah. are good at the commentary. So we could, we do well, and Devon's a producer. I don't know. Uh, he didn't want to bring it up for whatever reason, <laughs> but he's been producing indie films late, know, as of late. So you, got it. you do film too. Yeah, yeah, I did yeah. Uh, more yeah. of that in the past, but yes. Maybe y'all can make a CNFT film together one day. Oh <laughs> I'm down. I actually I'm am. Down. So um, okay. no, yeah, it's uh, it's been it's been taken over, but it's it's good. Life's life's busy. Life is good though. That's how it goes. Yeah. Yes, we'd yeah. definitely be down to host. Come on your show. Oh. Do, do whatever. Yeah, Great. on Sundays at eight, we do. Uh, we watch some kind of movie. We just watched Men in Black yesterday. Do you nice. know? Yeah. yeah, let's talk about the roster. For, okay, okay, we'll, we'll offline that conversation. Yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. And and we also definitely want to get y'all on the news. But as far as call to action, yeah, what we got going on. Money. We want to make sure y'all check out these propaganda posters. Yeah. 
see what you think, see where you fall in. Do you want to be a hench friend? Do you want to work at the agency? Do you want to stick it to the men? Do you want to do some dastardly evil plans? It's really all up to you. Um, and those are on it. You can check that out um, on our website. It's minting now and we facility07.com. And we also really want to invite y'all to come to these events every week, yeah. vote in our polls. We have a little mm-hmm. choose your own adventure style that's going on uh, right now. thing that's happening right. where, you know, the, 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 the agent is getting things in their inventory all along. Yeah, things are happening. Game, and... It's a community Twitter based choose your own adventure game. Pretty fun. We got play tests every Friday at 6 p.m. Eastern. And people come back every all. week. Like we have yeah. people that have played like six times <laughs> because every time it's a totally different story with different agents with a different yeah. layout of the facility. So it's like a totally different game. It's not like playing the same old. Because the card the also, game, don't forget. <laughs> you should also check out our uh, news show, CNFT News on Thursdays at 3 p.m. Eastern. We also do Cardania Marble streaming. We are co-hosts on that. We have been for almost two years now. Uh, every Friday at 11 p.m. Eastern time. That's always a good time. Win some data tokens, win some Cardania. Win an Sky Marble. There's always over 100 people there, and it's always a good time. And uh, what else we got? Oh, on? oh, I meant to say that in the agent drop, we do have some, we have collab art with yeah, other artists yeah. in the space. We have oh, Aeonium right. Sky designed um, an agent. We have an, an agent by Beyond Rocket. Collabits. We got collabits. Collab- yeah. yeah. I mean, Cardano Bits. Cardano, oh, yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. Cardano Bits. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, um, is in there. We got, so those are going to be super, I, I just forgot to say this earlier, so I want to <laughs> say it, but like those are going to be the um, the rarest uh, pieces in the collection and if you mint one of those we're going to actually send you a physical card made of punch board which will be the same material that that the agents will be made out of in the kickstarter game yeah so you That's can really integrate cool. that smoothly into your physical copy of the game when you get yeah. it nice oh, that's actually cool i like that that's a good integration that's good <laughs> hell yeah yay <laughs> so that's what's up man thank you guys again for yeah. having us you guys were a joy to uh, a chill joy with. and a delight absolutely this was uh, very smooth. Well, thank you f- for all the kind words and thank I you know, for coming right? on. Really yeah, nice. like, go, oh, thank you. I'm like, okay, well. shut up. <laughs> no, well, shut then. up. No, you <laughs> hang up. <laughs> Keep going, but no, no, shut up. Seriously, uh, <laughs> uh, for real. <laughs> That's cool. Awesome. But really, we were a little, honestly, kind of nervous because this baby was uh, freaking so out. Good. And he, so and 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 I guess y'all had a calming presence. And it's Ryan's yeah, crew now. My my dad bod, dad, dad <laughs> right. energy, <laughs> big dad energy, <laughs> big dad energy. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> oh my god, that's real. Oh, um, I don't want to say min- anything else. I'm gonna go mint that handle that. right now. Big dad energy. <laughs> yeah, you should. That's, that's a good one. Oh, oh he's man. reaching out to touch y'all. He likes you. Oh, perfect. That's cute. That's so cool. All right. Well, you heard it here first. Uh, you know, do all the stuff they said in the CTAs. Um, <laughs> Ryan, you got anything else? You're just supposed nope. To nothing. This you is want the to music. do it all oh, else. Sorry, I'm trying to mint my. Uh... <laughs> He's literally minting a handle. I, uh... <laughs> this, this is the only thing we do well. I say, like, Ryan, got anything else? And you say, No. Then we say, And NFGs. NFGs, we out. What is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm minting. I'm minting my handle, man. Big dad. Oh,